guys, Paul Martin Esau here. I'm joined today with none other than Jordan Moffat. Jordan, how are you? How the hell are you? I'm doing great. I'm, I'm doing well. How are you? Better now. I'm sitting next to you. I'm doing great. Too. I see you're embracing the whole lumber sexual movement. That's right. right. The beard, everything, the tattoos. Yep. You're one bad mamma jamma because you're an elite powerlifter, right? Talk us through this. You're strong. You that is kind of strong. You're very strong. Talk us through your lifts, your total, what weight class you compete at, your training experience. Okay. So I am a 198 lifter. Uh, my best lifts are 600 squat, 400 bench, 650 deadlift. Um, I recently just competed at 220, a 635 squat, a 415 bench, and a 670 deadlift. Um, and that was six weeks after my last meet. So I did two back to back very quickly. and. Uh, Results. Jordan, I understand that your squat in particular has blown up over the last, you said, 12 weeks. What was it before and what is it now? So before it was uh, at Raw Unity uh, 8, which was on February 8th. I did uh, 562 and most recently I did uh, 635. So that was at a different weight class, but in the same weight class, I uh, went from 562 to 600 in about six weeks. Right, so these are noticeable for someone that's an elite powerlifter that's been training for a long time. You didn't change any other variables besides your training methodology, right? So like sleep, uh, nutrition, everything else. Like everything stayed the same. I would just train my, I just changed my uh, my training level. Perfect, okay, so what was the difference then? Because in that shorter period of time, that is a big dramatic increase on your squat. So what did you do? And maybe we could take some pointers for everyone at home. So what I essentially did is I started squatting every day. Okay. So like I said, you and, so you and Greg Knuckles put out a book, The Bulgarian Method, G -Nuts. which talks about squatting every day. So I didn't actually squat every day, I squatted six days a week. Yeah. Um, You're missing the seventh day, man. You I know. I, need, about I needed it for a rest day. Come on. I did. Okay. Um, but basically what I would do is on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I would squat to a max, comfortable max. So that would be uh, something that you can do for a calm lift. You don't need any heavy music or any pre-workout or anything like that. It's basically just going in and doing the lift to your best ability. Uh, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday uh, would be my volume work. So 10 singles, I prefer singles because um, that allows me to you know, stay tight. Yep. Stay really tight for each lift. And I try to do a belt list, pause, anything I can to help increase my squat. Make it a little bit more difficult because I'd be training within the 70 to 80% range. So the big difference, you increase your frequency, yep. right? You worked up three times a week to a daily max. That's right. Something that was comfortable for you to do that didn't you know, require any uh, extra variables like listen to loud music or like a slap on the back. Just something you can work up to on that day. That's right. Right. And you experience a huge increase. Why do you think that difference is? Because I know you did like you did West Side before. You've done a lot of different training programs. How long? Uh, I've been training for eleven years and powerlifting for Okay, so powerlifting for about four. Why do you think this works for you compared to maybe another program? I think it was just a frequency uh, so I would check my squat from sometimes twice a week now to six days a week. Right. Um, I would bench three times a week instead of two. Uh, and I actually had a plan. I had something to follow every time. Um, I knew what I was going to do for the day. I pretty much was very well aware of the numbers I was going to hit. Um, so it made it a lot less... Um, a lot less Sure. Sometimes when you're going for something, you know, a lot of people get nervous. They have to get psyched up for me to do whatever they can to do the lift. But I had a general plan of what I wanted to hit and what it felt like for the day. And if that was good, that was good. Jordan, I think you explained very clearly what you did in order to achieve those results, why it benefited you. I mean, if people want to check out, it's just one of the many methodologies of doing it. The Bulgarian method that we released, link is in the description. For you, I want to say, Jordan, I've been noticing, i got to shout my boy out there because it's a fresh apparel. I see a lot of people trying different things on the YouTube game. I've seen so many people wear, you know, bacon and barbell. What is this about? Is this your clothing company? Do you yes. own this? Yes. Okay. Vanessa and I. You own bacon. Yes. We have trademarked bacon. That's beautiful. Um, so bacon and barbells, we're based out of Toronto. Uh, we're just an athletic apparel company. Uh, we love to eat meat, we love to eat bacon, uh, we love to lift weights. So I mean, really what it comes down to is for anyone. Yeah. Um, bacon's one of the best things ever, in my opinion. Yes. Uh, and so is lifting weights. So I put the two together, and uh, that's it. You can check
check out that apparel. Link's going to be in the description. Jordan, where can they find you if they want to treat you on that Instagram? So I'm on Instagram at and Bacon and Barbells at baconandbarbells.co. Now, do you do flex shows on your Instagram or not yet? I will start. I highly appreciate you being on my this. Uh, more information, link is in the description to follow Jordan, uh, follow also your progress. Are you going to keep up with squatting every day now in the future, or what's the plan for you? Yeah, so I have no competitions planned right now. Um, I'm a couple of days back in the gym. still been squatting every day, uh, obviously taking that a nice little deload, but everything feels good, and I'll continue it until I die. So I'd like to break. So you're gonna be squatting every day for the next like 80 years. Probably. Oh, that's been on. Three years or whatever. Three years, however long it takes. However long you last. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay, uh, guys, that is the video. If you like the video, make sure to like the damn video. Like the damn video. And I'll be seeing all you guys, my rascals, in that next video. Please <laughs> give him a flex shot. Give him a good flex shot. <laughs>